really just going to be set up for surgery. There's a lot of other options. And just knowing what's coming down the road helps people. They can research it themselves on the internet, they can talk to their friends and family, and they can get some expert advice from a doctor. How does someone get to see a uh, specialist like you? Do, do they check with their primary yeah, care? Yeah, it's very easy. You? you talk to your primary care doctor who you already know. You can go to my website. You can call my office for an appointment So they anytime. can go directly to you? Absolutely directly to me. Yeah, okay. And that's what we would like to see people so come in you, earlier. What do you need, by the way, for the evaluation? Do you need MRI? you need CT? Well, what the first thing we start out was an x-ray and a history and a physical exam, and okay. we go from there. There's right. much more things that we can offer with MRIs, CAT scans, therapies, non-operative treatments, injections, and then finally, if everything else fails, surgery. So who is the typical patient? I see young and old. People with knee pain come from all variety of sizes, sporting injuries, uh, just degenerative arthritis that's happened through the years. People often wait too long to come in. Car accident, trauma, all sorts of things. So you said especially men. I'll, we'll back up. You said uh, that men wait too long. Yeah, I think that they suffer through so the pain a little bit too long, and they're much more willing to say, I'm not going to play that round of golf, but I'm not going to go see a doctor. And that sets up a vicious cycle. They can't sleep at night because their knee aches them. They don't play that round of golf. They don't go for the long walk. They don't go to the gym. People need to go to the gym. They need to stay healthy. It affects everything in their body. It affects their heart, their cardiovascular system. It affects their muscle mass, their osteoporosis level. Everything is you know, helped by having a healthy lifestyle and a good knee. Now tell me about this. Okay, so with the people, okay, so they have some arthritis, they have bone spurs, etc. They have this knee pain. Uh, if they do nothing, it just gets worse, and they're headed for what, a full knee replacement? Yeah, I mean, if you wait too long, you're going to end up with a total knee replacement. And that's not bad. That really is a great procedure, but we can do better. We can intervene earlier and get you back to that lifestyle without suffering for decades with pain. You said something very interesting to me on the phone. I, you know, I, I said, who, what do you want people to know? I asked you that question, but I said, who do you want, uh, you know, to, I mean, what's, what's, the, what's the point here? And you said, I want to get people to do something earlier, early Earlier intervention. intervention is key. It's crucial. Okay. We're all about healthy lifestyle nowadays. You feel much better about yourself if you feel good. If you feel like you're in pain, you just don't want to do things. You're going to sit at home and watch the wellness so hour instead of getting out there and go to the gym. <laughs> okay. Do you think there's thousands, though, of people in the, Absolutely. You know, thousands in the desert of that people, really right, don't have to suffer? That are suffering in pain. Their knees are aching them, and we could probably help them, not necessarily just with surgery, but with other, other modalities. But if it's as good as you say, let's talk about the partial knee. If it's as good as you say it is, why isn't everybody doing it? Why are only well, three centers? There's a big learning curve. The There's south, three centers in, in, south, in, in the Southwest, and, and it takes a, a surgeon to go through that learning curve. You know, we don't get paid any extra for doing this, and it takes a lot of training to get to be an expert in this. And so I believe that this is best for my patients, and I've put the time in. I'm an earlier adopter of technology. I don't fear it. I actually like it. I have an engineering background. I think it's fascinating, and I see the results translated directly to my patients. How is, by the way, because obviously you listen to the feedback from your patients, from the old partial knee and now doing it this way, is it, does it all come down to downtime, or they say it feels better? Yeah, just what everything is, is better. Everything about it is better, especially compared to a total knee, and even compared to my conventional partial knees that I did in the past, their downtime is a lot less. They're back to golfing. They're back to the gym. They're back to tennis. They're back to hiking, vacationing. What about marathons? If you were a runner before you had your partial knee, I do not restrict you from that. I say go back and do really? that marathoning because that's what you love to do. I don't recommend someone who never marathoned before to pick it up after they've had an implant, but nonetheless, we wouldn't say no. Okay, you can do whatever you want to with the, with the idea that if you really use that knee, it could wear out in the future. So with this partial knee, okay, so if you have arthritis or, or a bone spur, it, it can only get worse, I guess, right? Well, you can't put new cartilage back on the end okay. of the bone once it's lost. So by covering lost. that partial area. That's okay. exactly what a knee replacement does. Okay. The diseased bit of the bone, the cartilage is lost, you're rubbing bone to bone, you're creating bone spurs. It's painful. That's where the nerve receptors are is in the bone. Cartilage is a really nice material with no receptors and no pain. So you can resurface just that little bit or the entire area if it's degenerated that badly. Will it prevent, though, a future knee replacement? Is there any science behind that? The studies have shown that if you correct and do a partial knee and correct the alignment and put it in precisely that it stops the progression of the disease to a total knee. The studies show that the progression is pretty low. The overall. average age of the patient, I guess, uh, for you is what, about 50, 55? Oh, in our area it's a little bit older, but we do young and old, and I'm trying to convince younger people to not suffer but to come in earlier for an evaluation. They may not, not need surgery right away, but they are educated, 
they'll have knowledge, they'll have all their options available to them. And how long will it last? Did I ask you that, by the way? Oh, that's a very common question because everybody wants to know that. They don't want to have to have multiple surgeries. I'll only do a partial knee if I think it's going to last for a long, long time without needing surgery in another couple so of years. So what are the years? I mean, how many and, years? Yeah, we know the data on old stuff. So 80 to 85 to 90 percent last 20 plus years with a partial knee. And what we're doing now is even more accurate and precise with modern implant materials. I think it should last 40 plus years. So what is it made out of? Yeah, the, the femoral component is made out of cobalt chrome. On the tibia is titanium, and in between is a, is a sandwich of polyethylene plastic. All right, okay, so be, because of this robotic surgery, the parts fit better. So Way more accurately than you could do with conventional alignment chip instruments. Way more accurate, okay. yes. There's no comparison. And so they should last longer. You would think that it would last a lot longer. We're going to do those studies. We're going to find out. Well, the old ones but were it's better years. to have it more precise. There's okay. no question that's better to do it well. And the old ones were 20 years, so this should last a lifetime. And if somebody's 50, uh, yeah. you know, the hunch may be it'll last 40 years plus. We hope so. They take care of themselves. That's the idea. And, and by uh, correcting that alignment of that knee and making it like it used to be, we hope to stop any further disease progression. Okay, but the, the biggest complaint, I guess, with people with full knee, especially athletes, it just doesn't feel like their own knee. It's what kind of feel? It's not quite natural. The feel. They do well. It takes away pain. It's definitely the gold standard is to do a total knee. But we think that if we intervene earlier correct that knee, that they won't progress, and it'll feel much more natural. Okay, could somebody go in on a Friday for surgery? And if they have a desk job, or they're, could, could they go back in on a Monday? I have seen that. Not every case they can do that, but they can walk and drive very early. We walk full weight the day of the surgery, and most people don't need walking assistance very much. They don't need very much in terms of pain medication. We use a little bit of ice, a little bit of Tylenol, and sometimes a little more but they do great. And so for a desk job, they can go back to work within a week or two, almost routinely. Is this one of those things where people get it done, of course they live years with pain, and they say, you know, I should have done something about this earlier? The majority of my patients tell me that they wish they had done it earlier. What Whether do they it be say? a total knee or a partial knee. What do they say? They wait too long. People wait to come to the doctor. They perseverate about the uh, decision to have surgery. They don't want to have surgery. Nobody wants surgery. Yes, that's, that's yeah. true. Unfortunately, it does a really good job of curing and and predictively uh, making them feel so much better. We're going to take a quick break. When we come back, uh, more about what people can expect uh, the day of the surgery and more about the evaluation, how somebody knows if they're a candidate. You're watching The Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news and information. I'm Randy Alvarez. We're discussing the latest advancements in knee surgery. We'll be right back. You're watching The Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news and information. I'm Randy Alvarez. Today's topic, the latest advancements in knee surgery. With us, we have an expert on the topic, board-certified orthopedic surgeon, Dr. Valivas. Okay, so as a recap for the person with knee pain, the old partial knee replacement is not the same as this new. Yeah, the new is much different. It's a completely different way of doing the surgery. It takes a lot of learning curve for the surgeon to learn how to do this, but once you get it down, it's really a fantastic difference. It's much less invasive on the bone. We resect very tiny bits of bone to resurface it to get rid of that bone-to-bone -bone rubbing. We go through smaller incisions and disrupt the soft tissues on the way in a lot less so that the recovery is a lot improved and better. So what are some of the age ranges of the older patients that qualify for this? Oh, I've done plenty of patients who've been in excess of 90 years old. 90, is that yeah, right? And, and why all, would they want to do it, though, at 90 years old, go through this well, procedure? Well, it's all about quality of life. It really okay. is. If you just want to do gardening, you want to do some walking, you want to go on a traveling uh, trip to see your grandkid, your great-grandkid, you don't want to get on a plane. You can't sit in a movie because your knee aches. You can't sleep at night. They tell you this, really? Absolutely. And that's what we, f we help fix. And a partial knee is 